services across much of our region are now able to give patients vital blood transfusions before they reach hospital. From today, the Great Western and Wiltshire helicopters will be carrying supplies on board, which it's hoped will save the lives of critically injured people. As Richard Payne now reports, it's been made possible thanks to the efforts of volunteers. In the box she carries, this woman has a resource capable of saving lives. And now it's available not only on the ground, but in the skies. The Great Western Air Ambulance covering Bristol, Gloucestershire, Bath and North Somerset and its Wiltshire equivalent will be carrying blood on board every flight. Helping to provide the transfusions before the patient reaches hospital will be a man who brought the concept back from his military past. There's good evidence from recent military conflicts that blood early in our traumatically injured patients makes a really big difference. Uh, and there's a team of us here, like there are on other air ambulances in the country, that have brought back this technology uh, to our patients in the UK. Two pints of O negative, the group anyone can receive, will be taken to the helicopter from Bristol's Southmead Hospital by volunteer motorcycle couriers. It must be delivered every day and kept at a precise temperature. What's not used is returned after 24 hours for others to benefit. We know we're going to put a minimum of 100 miles um, a day basically on the bikes. So for us, we reckon it's going to cost us about £10,000 a year to actually deliver this service within our own charity. Um, and obviously we have to raise the funds to, to make sure we can still carry on and provide that service. Of the 60 patients a month treated by this air ambulance alone, about four need a blood transfusion. So about 50 lives a year could be saved by this new service. Anybody who's going to need a blood transfusion at the scene of an incident is in a really serious state and that may well mean the difference between survival or not, so it's really, really important. We're taking the A&E department to the scene and this is just another example of how we're doing that and this is what would have happened in an emergency in an A&E department. No one wants to see this helicopter on call for them, but if the worst case does happen, they will at least know that their chances of survival are now significantly improved. Patients being treated by two of the region's air ambulances can now receive blood transfusions at the scene of an accident or in the air instead of waiting until they're flown to hospital. Yeah, it's taken the Great Western and Wiltshire Air Ambulances nearly a year to set up the service and to find the funding, as Chloe Culpin reports. The Great Western Air Ambulance is one of the busiest in the UK. It was called out 82 times last month. From today, the team based at Filton have a new resource available to them, blood. We'll pick up blood in one of these cases from Southmead and we'll ride it here to uh, the air ambulance here and also in Wiltshire. Uh, and we are here at 7pm every night, um, all of the year, 365 days. The Great Western and the Wiltshire Air Ambulance are the first in the South West to carry blood on board following the success of it in other regions. The equipment only cost each charity around £1,500, but organisers say it's taken them nearly a year to get to this stage. Actually giving blood at the scene of an incident is quite complex and you've got to make sure you've done all the right things to make sure that it's a safe process. And that's taken a lot of you know, writing policies, getting approval from all the right medical people, getting the people in place who are going to do all the work. The blood, which is the relatively rare O-negative type, can last up to 48 hours in its special chill case. It's kept between 2 and 4 degrees centigrade, so needs to be warmed before going into a patient. We'll do that by using this piece of kit, which is called a Buddy Light. Um, and what happens is it's essentially a battery with a heating element, and we'll attach the blood bag to the line to which is attached to the patient. It runs through here, and it comes out the other end um, at body temperature. Any blood stocks that aren't used are taken back to the hospital, so none is wasted. The two air ambulances estimate they'll perform blood transfusions on more than 60 patients per year, which in many cases is likely to be the difference between life and death. 